Hello, it's Mr Nesbitt again here. In this short video, I'll just show you around the basic layout of Google Classroom. So in my last video, I showed you how to log into Google Classroom. Now I'm just going to show you what happens in Google Classroom. So the view you have in front of you here is the general layout of Google Classroom, showing all your classes. Obviously, your classes will be labelled and titled differently to mine, but in essence, it looks exactly the same. So you can see all your subjects, and if you scroll down to the right hand side, all laid out like that. So you can click on and into these classrooms at any time. So I'm just going to go into my classroom called Test Area. Obviously, yours will be uh, your year group, uh, the subject, and probably your, your teacher's name. Now, once you're in your classroom, there are three main sections for you as a student. There's a stream section, the classwork section, and the people section. For you as a student, it's really important that you work between stream and classwork. And between stream and classwork, I would say classwork is the main area for you in terms of your work. Stream is a facility for your teacher to communicate information to you. They will be able to post comments to you and information. The settings are such that you're, you won't be able to respond, but you'll see the information coming through. Please check stream also to see work set by your teacher because it shows through stream as well. In classwork, this is where you have all your classwork related to your subject. So all the assignments, the material, and the guidance, all related to your subject. Your teacher will set out what we call topics within classwork. As you can see here, there's a topic and there's a topic. So for this particular subject, it's organized by date, but your teacher may organize it by topic area. So it's test topic one, or do nows, or knowledge reference library. This will change according to your teacher's preference. For you then, how do you see your work? Well, to see your work, at the top left hand side here, is it view your work. So if you click this button within classwork, you can see who you are, and uh, what percentage uh, of your work has been handed in. Down the left hand side here, we can see whether your work is all, so it shows all of your work that's been set, handed in or missing, but it breaks it down into the three categories. Assigned mean, means the assignment or piece of work has been assigned to you to do by your teacher. Return shows the piece of work, the assignment has been returned by you to your teacher. And missing shows how many pieces of work are currently missing uh, which have been assigned to you, sent to you, but you haven't sent it back to your teacher at that point. So all is all your work. Assigned, you can see all the assigned work here to you. That's been sent out to you. Returned, it shows the work you returned to your teacher. And missing, it shows the work that is missing. The percentage relates to work has, that has been marked by your teacher in the return section and the current percentage or mark. If you want to go back to your classwork, so simply go back on the hour there and it takes you back to your classwork screen. You can go to your particular assignments directly by going to the particular topic. So here, uh, 8th of June 2020, I can see there's a particular assignment being set there. So as a student, I can click on that and I can then view that assignment. And here is the assignment laid out for me. You'll see on the right hand side here, the word that has been assigned to you. It could be a, a Google document, a Word document. It could be a presentation. It could be any other document. This is where I would open this document up, work on the document as required by the teacher. And then once it's finished and I've completed it, this would change to submit and you send it back to your teacher. Please note, in relation to the assignments you have, you can actually send your teacher a private comment at any point in that assignment. So let's imagine this is homework due for next week. For example, if you're struggling to understand what the homework is about or you need further help, please use the private comment section here 
to add that comment in and that will go directly through to your teacher. When your work's marked, you'll see here in class comments, your teacher's comment in relation to that piece of work. Okay then, so this is a very quick overview of Google Classroom and in particular inside your particular classes. I hope this video helps. Please check out the other videos too.